Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today I thought I'd take advantage of that rain outside and get some reviews done. I'm going to review my Bell Staff Crosby motorcycle jacket and I'm going to review my Roker jeans. I'm also going to have a look at a couple of different types of armor. I've got a, a D3O Ghost Armor that I want you to have a look at and uh, I'm going to show you my SAS Tech Level 2 Armor which is real soft and flexible also and I got a new Net Gator. So uh, let's have a look at these. I'd also like to take time to thank everybody for their likes and their comments and I think my, my videos have been getting shared a lot because my subscriber count has jumped up to you know 110 so uh, I'd like to thank you all and I'd like to welcome the new subscribers I'd also like to welcome the back the guys that have been watching for a couple months with my videos here now so I really appreciate it and uh, let's have a look at this gear and I can't wait to get back out there and ride again this is my new jacket. It's from a company called Bellstaff. This is the Crosby. It is their mid-length jacket, so it comes a little bit down below the, the height of the, the waist of jeans, and which makes it perfect for riding. That way you don't get any cold breeze or you know maybe even some rain in, in the top of your pants. So the company Bell Staff has went through a lot of changes and of course with all of the regulations in Europe that they've had to change the material. These used to be made of just a waxed cotton which looked great but it didn't really uh, stand up to the tests that the abrasion tests and such that made it durable enough to to be protective in a motorcycle incident. Uh, now they use a higher tech material called tech wax and it's a material that they uh, produce themselves and it's uh, pretty scientific. I'm no scientist, but what it has is it's, uh, it has cotton fibers one way and then it has an aramid fiber the other direction. And of course they apply this uh, wax material to it to give it a little bit of a, a waterproof, it, which would be very waterproof as long as this wax is on there. Now that wax does eventually start to change and you know you have to reapply it to keep it waterproof but that could that should be years down the road for me we'll see about that but uh, let's have a closer look at it here it has four pockets on the outside this uh, left breast pocket is angled about 25 degrees it's uh, something just uh, that's unique to bell staff that they do with most of their jackets but they say that it's technically so you can use your right hand to get into your left breast pocket without taking your left hand off of the clutch. It just gives it a little easier access there. And uh, these, uh, these pockets have a rain flap here and they fold over nice to keep it from getting any water inside those. So all four of those are the same. Uh, all the buttons on the top of the jacket are brass and then the bottom two buttons down here are rubberized. That's so you don't scratch your tank if you have a motorcycle, which I don't have to worry about on my scooter. But on a motorcycle, that keeps the tank from getting scratched. And uh, on the inside here, it's all on take a look here. On the inside, there's a Napoleon pocket here, which I've said that's my favorite. I've got to have one of those in every one of my jackets. I love that thing. And uh, let's see, on the inside, we've got there's a liner this is it's similar to Gore-Tex the one Bell staff uses it's not Gore-Tex but it does the same thing uh, it's a drop it's a drop down liner so it's actually connected up into the shoulders and the, and the collar it's not laminated in the back of this material so that's why they use the wax cotton on the outside to keep it water repellent and then on the inside it has that that uh, membrane that helps keep it totally waterproof off your body but the jacket doesn't absorb any any uh, rain because of the, the wax on the outside of the material. So on the inside here we've got, there's the tag, it's, uh, it's rated A by the European Union, so that will be, that's certified to be protective uh, for an abrasion resistant up to 50 miles an hour and down. So it's more for city riding. If you're gonna be riding, you know, 70 and above, you need to have something that's AAA rated. You know, uh, most leather jackets are gonna be in the double or the AAA rating, so. But for in, inside, you know, inside city riding, this uh, works great. Uh, it's got a uh, D, D3O armor on the, the elbows and the shoulders, and we'll have a close look at that. I'll take those out for you. And uh, it has a rain flap here, so as you snap it over the top, there's this uh, 
extra flap here to help keep rain out from going into the through the snaps. Uh, on the inside, there's this uh, good zipper here. This zipper is a little higher than the bottom here, so when you get over the top of your motorcycle, the uh, the tank, if you need a little bit more room there, the this lets the jacket spread there across the across the bike's tank. So good zipper goes all the way up. On the outside, we've got uh, buckles to help uh, tighten it uh, tighten it around the waist here on both sides, and they are elastic in the back. So in a, I'll show you. I'll turn it around here to show you that. And there's also a, a snap and a and a buckle with a strap up top here for around the neck. And this does have a nice high collar, so it helps to keep out a lot of that cold wind that I've been dealing with. So let's see. Let's turn it around and have a look here. Here I'll show you this while I got it on the end here. The uh, arm snap shut, okay, around the glove, and on the inside we've got this this liner. This liner goes inside your glove. The glove goes over the top of that, and uh, then the jacket goes over the top of the glove. So it's kind of a multi-layer purpose there to help keep water and cold wind out of your out of your uh, glove. Okay, and then uh, moving on to the back here. It's got a uh, Bell Staff logo here, kind of understated, but uh, but nice there. And it's got uh, D3O armor on the inside, in the elbows and the shoulders. And we'll have a closer look at that. And then here's the strap that goes through, and this is elastic right here, so you can really tighten it around uh, around your waist if you like to. And uh, on the inside here, we've got this. Uh, Plaid that uh, that Bell Staff puts inside all their jackets. It's a nice soft, nice soft material here too. Right here is a, a back armor pocket that unzips there. You put a back. There's an optional, uh, which I have one. I'll show you that too. There's an optional armor that goes in that. You put it in there and zip it up. But uh, that was uh, it was twenty dollars extra with my with my jacket. I got it off a of Moto Legends website for. 275 pounds it uh, t this morning I just checked the price it's 550 pounds so that's 685 dollars and I got it for 340 so it's a pretty good deal it's a it was a good discount I must be trying to move it and uh, they probably got something new coming out so they're probably replacing it all right there's how the jacket fits me that is uh, a, Euro a European 48 which is a medium uh, I would have to take a large in some of my other jackets. So sometimes you have to you know, really listen to how they say that it fits. And uh, I think it's a good look though. See, it's, not, it's none too small, you know, even though I went down a size. But uh, yeah, the snaps all work really good. They're good quality. That uh, buckle is not hard to do. Let's see, let's go ahead and do it. 2,000 years later. Okay, there's how that looks done up. So it's got some pretty nice uh, texture of the fabric. You can hear how it sounds. All right, there's the uh, shoulder armor that comes with the bell staff. That's made by D3O also, just like the ghost armor. But you can see the difference there, the thickness. This one sh comes shaped, and you, you can tell it's there. It's nice and soft, but it's nothing as soft as, as this ghost armor. So. That is super soft and much thinner, and it's not fitted either. It just it sits in there and forms to however your your shoulder fits to it. So, highly recommend that ghost armor. But yeah, check out the link down below. The uh, elbow armor is much longer. It's uh, almost twice as long, so it comes down you know about that much. All right, that armor goes right in a pocket there. You just fold it in half, and insert it down in there pretty easy to get in it's just the right size for a shoulder so just like that easy in and out with the armor all right this is the Roker legend it is a uh, tapered slim in dark blue they come with a uh, level one D3O ghost armor. They come with those. That right there. They have a really fitted pocket here that those fit perfectly into. 
This is, uh, it looks just like denim and it feels just like denim, but it's actually much more comfortable. Uh, it's actually much more protective. They have a fiber woven in that is called, it's called a UHMWPE, which stands for ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. It's a really strong fiber. It's like 15 times the strength of steel but it floats on water, it's so light. So that's why the gene is, it's a, it's not a line gene, this is just a single layer gene, which is what makes it so comfortable. But uh, yeah, the armor's in there, and you actually, this is an extra set right here, but yeah, that has, the, has a piece of armor in there right there. So, all right, I'm gonna try those on so you can see how they look, but they're really comfortable. They basically feel like a regular pair of jeans. too fancy on the back here. Pockets are kind of plain. There's the, the Roker badge. These are rated uh, double A, so they would be rated up to 70 mile an hour and down. Uh, Alright, there's the Roker jeans and how they fit. They're, uh, they're supposed to be a slim taper, but they don't, they're not really like skinny jean or anything, guys, for those of you that don't wear those. I don't wear them much either. But uh, you can't even really even see the hip armor, which is right here. You can't see it because it's that ghost armor. And also uh, the armor in the, in the knees there, you can't really even see it unless you really try. So it's in there, but yeah, they're super comfortable. Highly recommended. They're not cheap, but they're really good. All right, there's the inside of my Roker jeans. That has a pocket right there that's just the right size for the armor there. That'll take many different kinds of armor though, but that ghost armor comes with these rokers and it fits right in there. Uh, I do have a, a second pair of rokers on the way that I got a deal on and they don't have the armor, so I do have an extra set of ghost armor I'm gonna use in those. All right, this is the D3O ghost armor that comes in the roker jeans. It comes with uh, two hips and two knees. Uh, it also would be usable in jackets, like uh, this would be the uh, elbows and this would be the shoulders. So it's interchangeable, but it's really super soft. This is level one, so that's, uh, when you wear it, the orange goes up against your, your body or towards your, towards your body, and the black goes away from your body, and, and uh, it does that so it doesn't, uh, doesn't print through your jeans or through your jacket and doesn't leave a mark on the outside with wear. So, But a lot of people don't know which way that armor goes in there. But see, it just molds around you and you don't even know it's there when you're wearing it. There's, this, is a, this is a level one armor. There's also a level two armor called Sastec Phantom Armor. Okay, this is it. It also comes in the two different sizes. Those are for the uh, elbows or knees. And this is for the shoulders or the hips. See, that's level two. But uh, it's, it's a little thicker. This is about nine millimeters thick, and uh, this ghost armor is about six millimeters thick. So it's about 50% thicker, but you do get level two protection. So, and that, this shape side goes up against your body. The flat side goes away from your body. Uh, those are available on Amazon. And I'm going to leave a link below so you can uh, check it out and maybe get some for yourself. They both sell for right around $50 a set. But uh, I'm going to try that in my jean, in my Roker jeans too, just to see how much different that is. It's nice and soft. All right, this is the uh, warm neck gaiter that I got for some of my cold weather uh, trips. It's uh, from a uh, company that says Sunmacy. It kind of has a nice fleece interior here, and uh, it's long enough to go halfway up your face and still go down around uh, your collarbone area. But uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. I believe it was right around $15, but I'll put a link down below for Amazon. All right, so there's how it fits. That's a European 50, and uh, my jeans are 32 waist, 30 length which is about what I normally wear. And honestly, I even need to wear a little bit of a belt because I'm more like a 30, 31 right now. So, but I really enjoy this. It's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a solid uh, piece of gear so far. What do you think? It's gonna look good on my Vespa.
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you didn't already like uh, the video, please leave a like and a comment. And uh, it's been nice meeting y'all. And uh, I'll catch you again real soon in another video.